In this video, we're going to look at standardized scores. A standardized score is the value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. A mark greater than the mean gives a positive standardized score. A mark lower than the mean gives a negative standardized score. Larger standard deviations result in lower standardized scores. An important point to note here is the higher the standardized score, the better the student's performance is on a test. Let's take an example. So here we've got a question that says, the table gives the mean and standard deviation of the marks in three examinations. The marks in each of these examinations are normally distributed. Mary got a mark of 72 in the French exam and she got a mark of 66 in the German exam. Calculate Mary's standardized score for these two examinations. So what we're going to do is say, well, we know that Mary got a mark of 72 in French. So I'm going to say French here is going to be, we're going to follow the formula, the value where her mark is 72 minus the mean, which we know for French is 60 divided by the standard deviation, D, which is 15. I can get my calculator now, type it in. So use brackets, 72 minus 60 divided by 15. And that will give me 0 0.80. Now I'm going to do German in green. So we've got German. So the value for that is her mark, which is 66 minus her mean score in the class, which was 56. That was the mean what the students got in the exam divided by the standard deviation. Which is 10. Which is 10 divided by 10, which is 1.0. So we notice that she gets a higher standardized score in German. So it means that her performance in German is better than it is in French. So that's going to help us for the next part. Part B says, did Mary do better in the French exam or the German exam? Give a reason for your answer. It's going to be German. And the reason is she had a higher standardized score. in the German exam. Hence, she done better in German. The next part says, in the science exam, Mary scored a standardized score of minus 0 0.56. Calculate Mary's mark in the science examination. So if we go back to our table here, it says that the mean for science was 50 and the standard deviation for science was 12.5. So now we can use the formula that we have that the standardized score is the value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So we know that she got a standardized score of 0 0.56. That's equal to the value minus the mean of 50 divided by the standard deviation of 12.5. So to work this out, we can say that the value is minus 0 0.56 times 12.5, add 50, type that straight into my calculator, minus 0 0.56 times 12.5,
close the brackets, plus 50. That'll give me 43. So I get 43 there. So this is 43, and that'll be the answer. Here's the next question. You can pause the video, give the question a try, and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Welcome back. The question says Tyson took a statistics test and a maths test. Both tests were marked out of 100. The table gives information about Tyson's marks. It also shows the mean mark and the standard deviation for the group that took the test. Work out Tyson's standardized score for statistics. So we can use the same formula. So we can say that Tyson's mark for statistics was 55. So it's going to be 55 minus the mean for statistics, which is 52. divided by the standard deviation of 15. And that's going to give me three over 15, which is simply going to be a fifth. And I could reduce that to 0 0.2. Work out Tyson's standardized score for maths. So it's the same formula. So his mark for maths was 48 minus the mean of 45 divided by the standard deviation of 12 that gives me 3 divided by 12 which is a quarter I can write that as a decimal which is 0 0.25 part B says write down the subject in which Tyson did better Tyson did better in maths since Tyson has a higher standardized score higher standardized score in maths C, comment on the group's performance in the two tests. So if we go back to our table now, we can see that the mean for statistics for the group is greater than the mean for the group for maths. Now, so we can say the following. We can say that the maths exam was harder than maths. exam was more difficult than the statistics exam and students did less well in maths than stats students did less well in maths than in comparison to city stats and that's it